In this video, we will go over the quiz on HTML semantics and let's see our first question. Which semantic tags complete the code? And let's take a look at the example code below. Section with the P element. And we have the P element alone. Click or drag and drop to fill in the blank. In this example, we should use the, I mean, we can use more than one HTML semantic tag, but from the tags right here, I think we should use the aside HTML tag. And let's try that one. And yeah, it is correct. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Add the correct type of semantic tag. And we have the section with the H2 and the P. And now let's see what HTML tag we should place around the P element. H2, H2, span, span, article. And in this example, we should use the article HTML tag. Okay. Yep, it is correct, of course. Article HTML tag is used for letting the browser knows that this should be a article section or portion of the page. And let's proceed to the next one. Which code snippet is the correct way to rewrite this in semantic HTML. And you see, we have the ID of header. So we should use the header HTML tag instead with the H1 inside. And here is the first answer with the header element. And here is the second answer with the header element. But this one is the wrong answer because you see, we don't have a forward slash in the closing header html tag so this one should be the right answer and yep it is correct why is the div tag not semantic and let's see the answers it provides no context as to what the content is inside of the tag and this should be the right answer it can be used multiple times throughout the code it provides context as to what content is inside of the tag it requires a closing tag and let's choose the first answer yep it is correct continue what is the difference between embed and video video is a semantic element while embed is not video can only be used for video while embed can be used for any type of media Embed is used in the header of the document while video can be used anywhere. And embed does not support video while video does. And the right answer should be that video can only be used for video while embed can be used for any type of media. But don't forget the embed HTML tag is depreciated so let's choose this answer yep it is correct you see embed can be used for files or external links such as a video from a different website okay let's continue why is the code below incorrect and let's see we have the figure action with the image with the figure element Let's see, image requires a closing tag, false. Only embed can work with figure and fig caption. This is also false. The figure tag must be replaced with caption. This is also false. And the use of figure and fig caption needs to be reversed. And let's choose this answer. Of course, it is correct because the fig caption should be placed inside figure element. So, in other words, the figure element should be the container element. So, figure should be here 
and fill caption should be here. Fill caption is used to insert text related to the content in the figure, such as a description. Okay, let's proceed. Why is the code below incorrect? So we have the example right here, audio element with the source attribute. But I think we are missing the closing audio tag right here. Source is only for video and embed while source is used for audio files. The code does not specify the type using type attribute. Audio is not a self-closing tag and requires an opening and closing tag. The controls attribute was not included in the code. Yep, you can use source to link the audio file in the opening audio tag. We are missing the closing audio tag in this example right here. And that should be all for this quiz. Yep, we score the 100%. And now, in the next video, we will take on the New York City blog project. So let's proceed.